Not banded, but I will take it. We're out here again. It's gonna be a little bit of a different hunt today. We're targeting the geese in a new location. Um, yeah, we had some good north winds the last couple days, um, some real good gusts. So I think we got a couple uh, new flocks of geese and the divers are probably in as well. Um, but we needed a spot that we could get set up a little bit sooner this morning. So we chose a little, a spot that was a little bit closer to home. Um, like I said, targeting mainly geese today. Uh, you'll see the decoy spread once light comes up a little bit later today. I think we got about 30 minutes until we get to shooting light, um, but we're all set up. Based on what I've saw, um, the amount of birds that were in this area just two days ago when I was here, I would say we're gonna limit out on geese. Um, we're able to get five geese each this year, so I'd be happy with five geese and uh, maybe a duck or two. I think the only time we're gonna get a shot at some ducks is maybe a couple mallards right here at opening light. So that's what I think I'm gonna get. Uh, Sean, my buddy's here also today. So how many do you think we're gonna get today, Sean? I hope Jordan's right and that we get 11 on geese because while we can't tell you where we are, uh, this has definitely worked very, very hard to get out to this spot. So I'm hoping for a limit of geese and then, you know, a few mallards, uh, local mallards would be nice too, so yeah. Yeah, it was about a half a mile walk in. So brought the silhouettes and a couple fold up decoys. Um, definitely no full bodies just whatever I could throw in the backpack, the bag of silhouettes, and the gun, and that was about it. But yeah, let's get to it. Next time you see me, hopefully we get some birds on the ground, and it'll be opening light. Yeah, buddy, at least we got two there. Yep. All right, maybe watch these four might come back. As long as they don't run away. I stole your birds. I got the one. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Unless you shot at the exact same time as me. Huh. That one we definitely got to do shot cam on. You must have shot at the exact same time as me though.
I'm not sure if I got that on video or not, but Sean got his fourth bird. Kind of sailed over here off the point, and then another one of the flock actually landed with him, and I thought they were all going to land, and I would have came down here and got them. The birds that I was stalking were up in here, and they all got off. Uh, too many eyes for sure, too many eyes and ears to be able to even get close to them. I'm going to go down here a little bit further, set up off this point, and Sean will be kind of on the other side of this water, and I'll be on this side. And he's got one more bird to finish out his limit. I got three more to go, so hopefully we're able to get it done and fill out this two-man limit. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll take it. One bird out of the two. It's kind of nice though. Uh, Sean kind of maybe kicked him up off the water over there on that side and they flew directly this direction. Hopefully we have a couple more come in and do it that way. Unfortunately I didn't get the GoPro on in time to capture this shot but these birds came flying straight down to me. Yeah, buddy! Oh my God, that's what I've been waiting for all day. Not banded, but I will take it. So as you just saw, here's my stud green head. Not any bands on him. Got one curl, definitely a nice looking bird. We were just looking at uh, getting geese today. So any mallard, any ducks were a bonus, especially a stud like that. I know there might be a few people that say, why are you following up with that second shell? Well, on this bird, I think I missed him with the first shot. Second shot was directly straight up in the air. I can't even believe that I got him with that one. But on the last goose I got, he was probably already dropping, you saw on the shot cam and I gave him another double tap. I just want to make sure anything that's fallen out of the air uh, is dead. Don't really want them sailing out too far in this area either. So that's why I gave that one a double tap and then the third shot tried to pick up a second bird. If I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have did a double tap, I probably could have picked up a second goose in that last flock, but oh well. Hopefully we're still able to get it done. One more bird for me and one more bird for Sean. And we'll have our two man goose limit, five birds a piece. Let's see if we can get it done. For some reason I lost the audio on this video clip. Just kind of showing you guys the spread real quick. So now I'm going to do the voiceover now that I'm editing this video. I'm kind of up here on this plateau and in the morning I had a lot of the decoys up here on this plateau. I wanted the birds to kind of fly overhead. We we're sitting right there in the middle of that grass patch, all those small trees. So we didn't want the geese actually uh, ending up out there in the water. Uh, it's really hard to retrieve out there. Didn't have the canoe today, so I wanted to pull those geese and try to get them to fly directly over our heads and land on this plateau. But like I said, I had five dozen silhouettes. Um, I did have a couple down on the water early in the morning, probably about two dozen by the water and three dozen up here on each side of this plateau. I'll start walking down here a little bit closer to the water and you can see uh, that we moved a lot of these decoys down to the water's edge probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm um, trying to pull them to maybe land right along the edge. But yeah, there's that grass patch, that little small trees that we we're sitting in. Um, it was pretty good cover, pretty thick in there yet. And here's, I probably have about three dozen silhouettes over here on the right hand side. And over there on the left hand side, there's probably about two dozen silhouettes. So these are Big Al silhouettes. Uh, they work great. I really like all the different flock positions and the size of them are perfect. Again, this long walk in, there was no chance that I was bringing in full body, so the silhouettes were perfect in this case. I can see a couple of these uh, duck decoys that I have floating out here on the right-hand side, but I was pointing out that point over there 
on the far side that I was sitting in and picked up uh, my last two geese. Here's a couple of those decoys though, using uh, the FUDs, the fold up decoys here. Uh, these are teal. I think I took about eight teal out here. And then that other full body that was sitting there was actually already out there. So I ended up just tossing him out in the water. So hopefully whoever lost him, thank you for letting us uh, use him. But yeah, here's these fold up decoys. I'm going to try to show you guys just how small these break down. Again, no chance of using uh, full bodies out here. But look at how flat these actually fold down into. And I was actually able to just toss those right in my backpack. And there's a counterweight on the other end. So um, over here on the right hand side. You can see there's one other full body way out there at the very end of the string. Uh, that was the very last spot that we were would be able to retrieve birds from after that point. Uh, it's just too deep and you would need a canoe to get birds after that. So we did have a mallard land right there by that last decoy early in the morning. It was a nice drake and we could have, it was definitely within shooting distance, um, but we definitely didn't want to take the shot and not be able to retrieve a bird. And over here on the left hand side, I had uh, three other mallard fuds or fold up decoys as you might refer to them as again about half a dozen of teal over here on the right hand side and then three mallards over there on the left hand side uh, it works pretty good uh, there was a few birds that were flaring early in the morning but as the day progressed uh, definitely worked out a little bit better but you can see up there towards uh, the north up straight up in front of me that's where a lot of those two to three hundred uh, geese actually landed and they were pulling a lot of those birds up away from us you know there's just no competing with those live decoys so that's where we were sitting right there in that small brush pile you can kind of see uh, the silhouettes how we had them ranged out here nice little family group of four right in the middle and then kind of two paths for them to come right up and hopefully land right along the water's edge we did have that pair that did land right along the water's edge uh, reviewing the shot cam footage back I think Sean and I both got that last bird, um, but I'm definitely just going to say that that was my bird. So we ended up walking out with uh, four birds each, and I got that one mallard. Uh, like I said, we're definitely not going back to hunting this spot without the canoe, though. It was definitely over 50 pounds just in the geese, and with all the other weight that I had packed in walking that half mile, it just was way too much. I took way too many breaks, and it took way too long to get back to the truck. So next time... We'll be bringing the canoe out. I definitely want to go back to hunting this spot. A little bit later in the year, I'm sure we'll get a couple more divers in. And then we'll have uh, probably a nice goose hunt with a good shake on the divers. Here's a quick look at my birds for the day. So uh, we got three geese here over here on this side. And here's my fourth geese over here. So not a bad day at all. Uh, didn't limit all I'll actually pop a picture up on the screen of Sean's birds. He actually ended up with four geese as well. But instead of having a fifth goose, I will take this stud green head all day. Look at that nice curl. Yeah, I will take a nice green head over a fifth goose any day of the week. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead, pack up out of here now. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tons more videos coming out for this year. You know, we're just getting into diver season here. So it's gonna be all that content, all the buffies. And as always, make sure you leave any questions and comments you have down below as well. And until the next one, I'll see you then.
Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.